Hey guys, you have tuned in for another short segment of the Grind Never Stops podcast. This is episode 2 of the NFL preview. In our last episode, we did an NFL preview of the New Orleans Saints after losing Drew Brees to retirement. And you can check that out on our YouTube channel. Subscribe, like, but you can check it out on all your podcasts platforms and you can always like our videos we're also on facebook instagram tv and all the podcast platforms like spotify apple google podcast and many many more so in today's short segment we're so we're i'm gonna upload more videos as we will we'll be doing the dolphins we'll be doing the giants We'll be doing the Packers, and last but not least, well, in this episode, we're going to talk about what about them Cowboys. And as you guys all know, and for the people that knows me personally outside of this show, knows that I'm a huge Dallas Cowboy fan, and I've never switched team. I might have liked the Colts before, but I always liked the Dallas Cowboys. But let's start with the preview for the Dallas Cowboys. Jerry Jones is like one of those owners that looks for more like Hollywood players and like big time players that's on the outside. Which means that he wants to go get players who's from Los Angeles or who play, who's playing for California teams who are not huge stars like he signed Andy Dalton a couple seasons ago. But all what Jerry done Jerry Jones has done in that uh, category always results in disappointment. And then, I don't understand, like, I'm a Cowboy fan, but I don't like how Jerry Jones thinks. Because he overpays contracts all the time. He overpaid Dak after he had an injury. He overpaid Zeke after having his worst season of his career. So all of that is like... I think that Jerry Jones prefers quality, prefers quantity over quality, which is a bad idea because the the offensive line for the Dallas Cowboys is huge. You both know that, that the Dallas Cowboys problem is not the offense, but we'll talk about the defense in just a moment because the offensive line is too big and that's the problem because they're too big they literally can't block which led to quarterback Dak Prescott Dak attack to a season ending injury and my god his injury was terrible and everyone felt sorry for this man especially us as Cowboys fan we were hurt we were hurt to see Dak go down the way he went down after playing decent But I don't think no one should doubt Dak Prescott, even though he plays on the Dallas Cowboys. And the Dallas Cowboys are the most hated team in football. But I still think they're the best America's team. But for Dak Prescott, his accuracy is actually better than most people criticize him for. Because the only thing people are thinking about is that he is mostly known for his grade on one paper. But another thing that people don't know that you don't want to let him run the ball because he's a great runner because it's it's going to be tough because we don't want Dak to run because if he gets injured, it's going to be a big mess. Even though last season when they had Andy Dalton who played some some football games he was I some football games he was disappointing and some football games he was horrible but this time they don't have Andy Dalton because their death in the quarterback is a very very thin and all of us fans were like oh we don't want him to run the ball because even Andy Dalton's last season 
his turnovers went too far comparing to the other backup quarterbacks. And it's not just Andy Dalton why they ended this season in a horrible fashion. R- r- the running back star, Zeke the Freak, Ezekiel Elliott, was disappointing as well. After he had a great season the season before, running the rock. And all he's been doing was fumbling the ball, uh, dropping catches that's supposed to be cut. And don't forget that also on a wide receiver, Amari Cooper is a strong wide receiver at six one with strong hands and route running. But nobody played well. Because Cowboys still, they have Michael Gallup. They got a slot wide receiver, Randall Cobb, a, a clone of Randall Cobb. So it's it just tough. Like Andy Dalton wasn't wasn't that great. Zeke Ezekiel Zeke the Freak was not there last season. That was Ezekiel Elliott, and Dak Dak attack was there, but he, he was doing all for the Dallas Cowboys, but. He just got hit hard, and the injury that, if you want to see on replay, it's on YouTube. Like, it's viral, but it's not great to see. But let's introduce the offense telestrator for the Dallas Cowboys. So, most of the time, the offensive coordinator, Kellen Moore, who I personally do not like, he likes to put one player in motion designed to trick you. So, Dak attack. It has been always taking advantage of that. That's why he's been having a first down or a touchdown. But there are some situations where the Cowboys will run the run pass option. And for people who don't know what that is, it means the quarterback, which is Dak Prescott, runs it one way, left or right. Or the running back will go the other way, which is one situation called the read option. And people that people that play the game Madden NFL, which I we will talk in at the end of this lesson, this episode that Madden NFL twenty two is a garbage game. In fact, I refund it because it was so trash. There was too much glitches, but we will talk about that later. But let's go back. So the situation that we just talked about is called the read option. But if the defense takes that away, the quarterback drops back to pass and finds the open uh, receiver given by the defense. And that was working for a while. But once the Dallas Cowboys couldn't block Dak was getting run over and he got ran over hard and hard and at one point he just couldn't handle it so he got a huge injury and missed most of last season which the Cowboys were playing well. So the offense is not, the problem is not offense because they could get it done but they just need smaller guys on the offensive line because they're too big and they, they have a hard time blocking. So now let's talk about the defense of the Dallas Cowboys, which is the problem. And it's been the problem since since Tony Romo left the team through retirement. So let's start so let's start talking with the front seven guys. So Demarcus Lawrence, as you guys all know, one of the best defensive players at his position in top five, top ten in the league. He's a key piece for the Dallas Cowboys, and he's been a key piece for Dallas. But Demarcus Lawrence, he's six foot three. He can get to the quarterback super fast, mostly from the outside, and strip the ball from the quarterback, which he didn't do much last season. And for and people like you can't be reckless with the ball, which will usually result in turnovers but that did not happen last season because if it did the Dallas Cowboys would have at least close to a winning record and they could hold the fort while Dak was out but let's talk about boss Jason Smith 
uh, Lane Vander H are on and off the field because you know they've had history of being injured and they've been injured for last season as well but them too if they're healthy they can both somewhat like defend the pass coverage but they're both linebackers for a reason and for the pass coverage is like really really horrible and that's disappointing to hear that the Dallas Cowboys don't have a great defensive system so let's talk about the defense telestrator for the Cowboys so most of their plays they usually run a 4-3 defense but I think the Cowboys need to change that system because the Dallas Cowboys are the worst worst pass defense in the league and there's a reason why so i think that they should change their system and focus on shutting down the run and try to pursue the quarterback by s- stripping the ball they need to have a great defensive system and have everyone have their roles because right now they were top five in defense bottom of the league for the past three seasons even though when they make the playoffs when they had that glitch uh out of bounds for brian against the packers like a decade ago even that that season they were still horrible defensively but the cowboys they play tight defense everywhere and for the cowboys if you're playing against a good receiver with good speed you can make the Cowboys pay with big plays. And that's what you saw last season. That's what you saw last season. So for Dan Quinn, and Dan Quinn has a really big job that's in front of him because it's not the offense, it's the defense. And he needs to improve the defense because his defense is so poor. And the problem is that they've been so poor the last two seasons against the pass and again i'm repeating against the pass and you need that's the only thing that teams like big ass like big market teams always do good and it's the defense against the pass so they need to improve in that because offense you got zach and dak and cooper and all these boys but for the defense is questionable. So for Jerry Jones, uh, like I think that Jerry Jones is thinking like Greg Zerline is a great kicker and saying to himself, "How about them Cowboys?" But we need to stop for a second because Dak is injured. We don't know when he's back. Zeke had a horrible season and he had a lot of off the field problems. So. It's not what about them Cowboys now. Like, and their kicker is is not that great because he has a great leg, Greg Zuline. But his accuracy last season was horrible, was dead last in the league. So, but for right now, I know you guys know that week one, the opener of the NFL season, Thursday, September 9th, Uh, The Dallas Cowboys will open the season in Tampa Bay playing the defending champs. And I think that first game, they need to make a statement. They need to make a statement. Because right now, with, like, I'm a huge fan. And I still think that the Cowboys will win at least 9 or 10 games. But that's if Zeke comes back. Because right now, it's Ezekiel Elliott. If Zeke, the freak, comes back and Dak, the attack, comes back from injury and you got Greg Zuline being a better kicker than he was last season and their defense not having a thousand injuries, maybe the Cowboys will make the playoffs. But as of right now, I think the Cowboys will end the season at seven wins and eight losses. Because this depends... This depends, gentlemen. Will Jerry Jones change his personality at a start? Like, if they lose week one, if they lose week two, will it be the time for Jerry Jones to change his roster 
and finally choosing quantity over quality instead of the vice versa. So we will see and it will be a busy season for us here at Grant Never Stops Podcast. So that ends the 2021 The Dallas Cowboys season preview. Make sure, okay, so as I said before, we want to end this episode. I want to talk about Madden NFL 22. So that game is trash. And I feel that game is a clone of Madden NFL 20. But mostly it's the same as all the other Madden franchises. Like there's no change. The only thing that's changed was like the face of the franchise and ultimate team. But I was in a franchise and I don't understand why it's giving a sync error. Like, I just downloaded the game, I uninstalled the game, I joined another franchise, and it kept doing resync error. And you just released the game, and EA has a history of having bad games with NBA Live. But Mana Anvil 22 has so many glitches, has people that works for PlayStation sent a bad review on IGN how the game is horrible that a lot of people has joined in refunding the game which i did a couple days ago and i'm happy about it because the game is just garbage and i think they need to have a huge update and but this game is disappointing i was really disappointed but that's about it for this episode make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and check us out on all your podcast platforms and Tune in to our next episode as we will preview the Green Bay Packers for this upcoming season. Peace.